What's up guys and welcome back. Today we finally have the Yamaha YZFR7 back in the shop and we have a couple things we're gonna install. The first thing was I had such a really good time with the ZX4RR and putting the Domino grips on there. They're freaking fantastic. So we're definitely going to be installing those on the Yamaha R7 today. I got the black and gray ones, so they should look pretty clean. But before we get to the grips, we're gonna finally install the Yamaha R6 throttle tube, which basically will give us a shorter throttle throw, making it easier to go from nothing to wide open. It should be a shorter throw. So that is gonna be really cool on this motorcycle. Instead of having that one little extra amount of turn that you need to put in the motorcycle, this is gonna give us that nice, just one kind of pull. So let's get started. So the first thing to do here is to get off our bar ends. So we're gonna go ahead and use a five millimeter hex key to do so. There's our first bar end off, come off pretty easy. There is Loctite in them, so you don't really wanna be using the hex keys that actually have balls on the end. It'll keep you from stripping them out. Well, the next thing to do with this is I highly recommend the use of an air compressor to take off your grips, especially if you don't like the grips that you bought because you can simply reuse these. I'll link some cheap, inexpensive air compressors down below that are gonna be easy to use, help you fill up your tires when you need to fill up your tires as well as do simple jobs like this or you can use this little nozzle to actually clean stuff. Go ahead and get this thing off and the way we wanna do it is basically by prying up on the rubber here and you'll wanna shove your air nozzle in here. And then as we're using the air, we're gonna try and move around the grip while we pull it off. So here we go. There we go. Same thing on this side, get her under there. Now this one I'm struggling with, there's definitely a lot of glue inside this one. So sometimes going from the top first will help. And this one definitely probably had quite a bit of glue on it. So you can see there's a little bit of struggles, but as long as you keep moving the nozzle around, breaking up all the glue with inside here, it'll come out just fine. All right, so now we'll go after our throttle itself. So we have two, what looks like three millimeter. Yep, two three millimeter hex keys that we're gonna loosen up here. Those are definitely in there with some Loctite as well. They're pretty tight. Once again, I wouldn't use ball head just to keep from stripping them. There we go. And I'm gonna keep a hold of all this because sometimes it is difficult to get all this stuff back together. So we wanna understand how it's routed. And you can see here one, this lower line is routed in through the bottom and this upper line is routed through the top. So for our R6 throttle tube here, we're gonna need to pop this end off for sure. And anything should work for that. But you can see how I can Pull these up, get them out of their alignment, and then we can just slide them out. And the other one is just coming right out for us. So we can just spin that one around and pull it out. And there we go, there is our throttle tube. All right, so now that we have the throttle tube off, here is the Motion Pro one. It's only like a millimeter difference in between it. And what is another thing important to note is there is grease on here and it's gonna be some kind of white lithium. So I am gonna just add a very, very small amount, and mainly because we know that the throttle tube is dry inside. We'll get a little bit of grease on there, not a lot. Clean a lot of that off. To... Probably should have used <laughs> some rubber gloves. There we go, so we got a little lube on there. We'll go ahead and start with this bottom one here, and we're just gonna slide, slide her back like so, and roll it in. And then this top one, I'd have to fight with just a little bit, but with the pick here, I should be able to grab it and get it out of here. But we'll spin her around a little bit. We'll rotate our throttle just enough to get it in. Might be easier to just take the pick, pull up. There we go. Very easy. It's on there. We got function. Start getting our bolts back in. Now you could apply some more blue lock tight to these if you want. Want to run them down the same. There we go. These don't need a ton of torque. They are three millimeter hex keys. So don't try and kill them. Throttle is back on. You're good to go. And I would say make sure you put this guy back on. You don't want to lose this. Just in case your grip gets too pushed up against the actual throttle piece, this is going to spin and allow it to not lock up. That's very, very important. Not every bike has that. I think it's pretty cool that this does. And of course, out of these two Domino grips here, 
we're going to want the smaller one or the bigger one is going to go on our throttle tube side. So we'll be using some grip glue here. I've got this pro taper. I'll link it down below. Make sure our grips don't slip on us. Oh, looks like I'm finally running out. I've done enough of these. There we go. I'm just going to line a little bit up top there because this is all going to slide in and push down the tube. So now it would be really cool if these would just slide on. But from my experience, <clears throat> oh, look at that. We are getting lucky and it is sliding on pretty well. Ah, well, it's going to stop there on me. So the fix for that, so we're going to have to use a little bit of air. And another reason why I think it's important that you should just have an air gun. There we go, slid up there just fine. Maybe a little bit too high. So we're gonna try and pull her down a little bit because we need and we really don't want our grip to stick. That is very dangerous. So there we go, there's our first grip. We got the R6 throttle tube. <laughs> yeah, that feels much shorter. I don't, it's crazy because we're only talking like millimeters. One millimeter on each side, that's full throttle now, full throttle. Nice, I'm gonna like it. Some 242, just a little bit on there. Get the grip back on there. And now we're gonna have to finagle just a little bit. And we want that distance in between our weight and our throttle actual grip. So there's a very small little gap there. That's what we want. And we want our grip to snap back. So <laughs> I like it, that's badass. Let's get the other side on real quick. So we'll go ahead and apply just a little bit of grip glue on the inside here. Just run it around the top is more than enough. Get her situated, get her on there. And with any luck, it's going on, but pretty damn slow. So I'm gonna help her out just a little bit. dab a Loctite on there. And we're good to go. Last thing to do, get this thing out for a ride. I'll let you guys know what I think.